What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about a lot of these CP changes that are going to be coming with the Waking Flame update once we do get the update released here on console. I know a lot of you out there play on PS4, Xbox, uh, new gen consoles, that kind of thing. And you may be kind of curious what to expect or kind of wondering what to expect with the Waking Flame DLC. Some of you may keep up with the PTS, some of you may not. I'm going to link a in-depth breakdown of each individual ability, the way they're changing, what's been added uh, from Nephis. Of course, he does play on PC. He does have that information, you know, at kind of at his fingertips. He can test that stuff. He is just a great person in the community and great for just knowledge in the game in general. So if you don't watch a lot of Nephis' stuff, I would highly recommend it. But I'm going to kind of give you a general overview of exactly what's changing. And then you can kind of go in and watch that video if you would like to see in-depth details because it's hard for me to give you in-depth details of stuff that I don't have access to considering I play here on console and not on PC. But when it comes to some of the CP changes, you can look at the rejuvenation ability. The rejuvenation star there, the constellation, is getting nerfed down to 50 recovery. Also, the ironclad uh, tree or the ironclad part of the tree is being moved from the red tree to the blue tree. So now if you want to spec into Ironclad, you'll have to spec into that, into the blue tree side. And what was once Ironclad has been renamed to Fortified in the red tree. Also, Juggernaut in the red tree got nerfed down to 5%. And there are three new sub-constellations being added into the red tree in total. Survivor Spite, Wind Chaser, and Walking Fortress. And from everything that I've seen from Nephis' uh, info, some other info that's been put out uh, about these new CP constellations or these sub-constellations, these may be the strongest in the game, especially the Walking Fortress, but also it seems like uh, Wind Chaser and Survivor Spite have some very viable uh, CP options as well. So it looks like a lot of us will be changing the red CP tree on pretty much all of our characters, whether you're a tank healer or a DPS. It seems like the older options that we're using right now here on console are probably not going to be the what's considered the best to run once the Waking Flame DLC is released. Now, some of this stuff could change. Uh, between now and when the official update is out, we have the official patch notes, but they're getting so deep into the PTS cycle now. Usually after the first couple weeks, I'd say three or four weeks, you're really starting to see exactly what's going to stick and what's not. And it seems like a lot of these CP changes are here to stay. And it seems like the numbers and, and things they're giving out for the nerfs and buffs are here to stay. And these new constellations seem to be, like I said, what's going to be considered the best thing to run. So it looks like all of us are going to be respecting our red cp completely no matter what type of character or build you have now i know this can be frustrating for veteran players because it's getting used to a new cp system which i personally like and think is better than the older cp system that's just me some of you may not agree and i know it's kind of frustrating for new players because you may not have enough cp to exactly spec into all these things that are considered to be better than you know some of the other things that are available hopefully in the near future zos will kind of get all this worked out i know it's a new system for them as well uh, so they're trying to add and change things kind of on the fly here from update to update. But I would assume in the near future, within the next couple updates, most of the stuff is not going to be getting added in and changed as much anymore. Probably just be more nerfs and buffs what we're expecting or, you know, kind of used to. But just kind of hang with it because I'm assuming that some of the stuff is still going to change, you know, in the next few updates. But then after a while, we should see this kind of calm down and you'll kind of know exactly what's available in the tree. And you're only going to have to deal with nerfs and buffs instead of dealing with brand new constellations and subcategories and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, I hope this kind of gives you some general info about what you can expect to change when the Waking Flame DLC drops here on console. Like I said, if you want some in-depth info, that video that Nephis did is linked down in the description. Be sure, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. Check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.